What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to do a tutorial on how to use the new FC Python event data tagger tool that they've just released. And this tool is perfect because it allows you to watch a match and then you can collect your own data, you can mark your own data, and then you can just export it right to a CSV. So it's perfect for collecting your, collecting your own data and kind of just working with your own data so you're not having to rely on paying thousands and thousands of dollars for event data. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go jump over to the tagger and I'm gonna show you just kind of how to use it and how to break it down. If you haven't already though, be sure to hit like on this video and share this video on Twitter or Instagram, wherever you wanna share it, just so as many people can get access to this as possible. Cool. So this tool is really handy because it allows you to just grab a, a YouTube URL and you can really just mess with and watch the video. And then as you're watching the video, you can manually tag kind of down here in the pitch. And then up here, it will add all the data. So we're just gonna take a quick overview of what the tool is. So right here is where you can add your URL. The URL we're gonna be using is from the Real Madrid Liverpool Champions League match. I really hope I don't get DMCA'd for this. But essentially, this is just a highlight reel. Of, it's the extended highlights. It's not a full match, but you can pull in like a full match. Like over here, you can see uh, the full match between Barcelona and Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. You could watch that whole thing and get an entire match. But if you're getting an entire match of data, that's gonna take a really long time to tag manually. So what I do recommend is just kind of deciding what you wanna look for, and then you can use this tool to kind of help you find all that stuff. So this is the URL, I'll link it in the description below, and you can follow along with this one if you want, or you just go find your own match that you've been doing, and you can follow along. We're just gonna take a tour real quick. If we click on this question mark, it comes up over here and gives you kind of the breakdown of what's going on. So it has, I accidentally clicked off of it, but it has customized tags with the edit tags, which we'll get into. Then you can select an event and it actually disappears. So it'll click on the pitch and then you can drag for start and end. And then you can navigate the actual video with the arrow keys. So if you push on the right arrow key, it'll skip forward five seconds. If you push on the left arrow key, it'll go back five seconds. Pretty nifty so you're not having to try and, you know, click in here, whatever. So this is just kickoff right here. And what we're gonna do is we can see that's Kareem Benzema that's gonna pass it in. I mean, if we kind of open it up, you can see it's number nine. We can exit out of it. But what we're gonna do is we have these tags down here, which essentially is just our players. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the tags. And Real Madrid was home for this game. As you can see, Real Madrid up here. Then you can click in here into one of these and delete like H1, and we will type in Benzema. And then to get out of editing mode, you click on edit tags again. And as you can see, he passed it. He's gonna pass it from about the, he's gonna pass it from the midfield mark and he's gonna pass it to about right here. So what we need to do is we're gonna click on over here. We have a pass tag. And then you click on the midfield hold down the left mouse or whatever you're clicking on. Like I have a trackpad, so I'm just clicking down on the trackpad and then I'm moving it and dragging into the position where I want to go, which is right about there. And then you let go. And now we can see it's added a row up here. So it's team, home, player, Benzema, pass, is, or the event is pass. The one thing about doing this, and I mean, one thing that I, kind of hope they look into to update is the minutes and seconds are basically useless unless you're using a video that starts exactly at zero, like the video starts right at kickoff because it's going to give you the minute and second of the video. As we can see, it's 14 seconds. It's not gonna give you the minute of the game, like the minute and the second of the game. So that's one thing you need to take into consideration. It's kind of invaluable right now, but hopefully they'll work on fixing that. And then the next thing as well, it gives us our X and our Y. So, and then I'll kind of highlight it down here. So if you look down here, as I'm over it, it highlights our X and our Y, and then it highlights as well our end X and our end Y, or X2 and our Y2, which is our end X and our end Y. So that's kind of just how you get that. That's the first pass. 
We can keep going. We can kind of see some more things that are going to be going on. If we wanted to, we could get these passes that are about to happen right here. So he passes it to Tony Cruz. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the Tony Cruz pass and just pass and then see where he passes it, which he's going to pass it to Casemiro. And then Casemiro is going to pass it over to um, Mendy. So we're just going to add both Cruz and Casemiro right here. So we'll just say Cruz and then click on the next one. And we'll say Casemiro. And then unclick the edit tags. And then what you want to do is Cruz, he gets it. If we watch the clip, he gets it right there. And then he just passes it back to Casemiro. He's going to get it right here. So click here and then just drag it back. Let go. Adds a new row. And then the next thing we're going to do is click on Casemiro. We'll watch where he passes it to. So he gets it just right there and then he passes it outside. So he gets it about right here. Just passes it out here. So if we click down here and then we drag up, let go, it'll give us our X, our Y, and then our end X and our end Y. Pretty simple. So I'll show you what a shot looks like. So if we go into a shot, here's a shot right here from Cream Benzema. So we can watch this, we can see he dribbles out there and then he shoots it from right about here. So it's outside the box, it's gonna be right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Benzema, then click on shot and then just come over to where that actually occurred and just click on it once and it gives us our X and our Y. So as we can tell, it's pretty, like we can go down this and we can kind of see everything. So what it's giving us is just straight event data. It's not giving us any sort of information outside of who, what, and where, essentially. It's not giving us any sort of information about players Close to them, you could obviously add that if you wanted to. It might be kind of a hassle, but I mean, if you really wanted that data, you could do it. I would not recommend trying to manually track your own tracking data, which is what that would be essentially. That would be a nightmare. So we can just kind of keep going along with this and I'll just show you some more examples of what we can do. So we saw right there, Allison made a save. You could also edit your tags. So you can edit these tags as well. So instead, so instead of shot assist, you wanted, um, you know, you wanted interceptions. So you unclick that. And so now you have interceptions right here. So say away, what we're going to do is we're going to show this Alexander Arnold. So we're just going to put TAA for Trent Alexander Arnold. And we're going to show this right here where he basically plays for Real Madrid. Oh, not this one. That's the Vinicius shot. Uh, we'll go to the next one. So this is kind of just the thing that you have to do with these. Is you just kind of have to keep clicking in. So you could be getting all these shots of Vinicius if you wanted to. Okay, there's the Asensio goal. So here is where we can show like kind of interceptions. So Cruz, what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll capture the Cruz the interception by Trent Alexander-Arnold, and then the goal by Asensio. We'll just kind of show that whole process. So we'll start it, and then as we can see, Cruz gets it about right here. So we're gonna play the video again and see where he passes it to. So he goes from about here to here. So we're gonna create, we're gonna click on Cruz. We're gonna do a pass. So you click on here, and you drag, to about right there. Okay, so it made the pass. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Trent Alexander-Arnold and we're gonna put on interception because technically I believe that's an interception. So we'll just click interception once right there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pass from Trent Alexander-Arnold, which goes from there right to Asensio, which is about at the top of the box. So we'll go from here to there. And then we'll do an interception by, we'll, we need to add Asensio. So we'll edit the tags and then do a sen, Asensio. Unclick edit tags. We'll do interception by Asensio right there. And then he, I'm going to count this as a dribble. So he's going to dribble it from about right there. And then he goes right in front of the goal, as we can see. So right in front of the goal. 
and then he shoots basically right there. So we'll say a uh, shot, just click once. And there we go. Now we have our own sort of interaction, our own sort of play sequence. So if we click on, so as we can see, it goes from Cruz down here. It goes from interception right there, but then he passes it straight back to Asensio who intercepts it. Asensio dribbles it. I don't know if that's technically a dribble, but we'll call it a dribble. And then Asensio shoots it. So that's basically the logistics and kind of the basics behind this tool. It's a really innovative tool. It's something that the community of soccer analytics has really needed, something to allow people to get their own data because data is ridiculously expensive. The one thing that I really like about this is the tagging process is super slick. The only thing that is a little frustrating at times is you. I wish there was like arrows. So if I click on a shot or if I wanna do a pass, like I'd like to see the arrow from here to here instead of just um, not being able to see anything and having to kind of see after the fact, if that makes sense. But that's just a suggestion. If you see this FC Python, please consider that, I guess. I don't know how much input actually matters. But anyways, since that didn't happen, last thing is we will delete last since that never actually happened. And then we will export CSV. And as you can see down here, got the events.csv, which will just be in here somewhere, events.csv. We open it up and then it opens up Excel, which is taking forever. And as you can see now, this is kind of how it looks. Sometimes it's not gonna be perfect. For example, right here, you might have to just be like, oh, yeah, that shouldn't go there. So this just released and I'm expecting that they will come out with a couple of more updates for the future to make it a little bit more um, user friendly as well as kind of update the features of it. But where it's at right now, this is a great tool and it's really innovative. And it's really something that, like I said, we've been needing for a long time. So be sure to go check it out. You can check out this. I'll leave a link in the description below. And then as well, you can check out fcpython.com and fcpython on Twitter. That is the best place for interactions or if you have any feedback you wanna give them, I'm sure they'd love feedback and ways that they can improve this tool and what y'all think. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching guys. And I will catch you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe and that is it. Peace.